Do you think that. Biden loves America? A, a, a different kind of America, not the same America that uh, maybe you love, not the same America that I love. I don't think he loves what, the same. What type of America do you think Biden likes? I think uh, the, there is. Look, she said something very important at the beginning. She said the reason why it's easy for me to represent um, um, the Santas is because I agree on everything he talks about. That's not easy to do, by the way, right? I mean, you have to know you represent somebody like I don't know if I agree with what you said, right? Let me tell you what well, President right, Trump, Trump was really for, trying to say. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. So it's challenging to mm -hmm. be a press secretary for somebody like Trump because Trump is very what unpredictable, right? Where DeSantis is very predictable, right? Do I sit there and think he loves uh, uh, America? I don't, I don't know if he loves America. I think he's so... You, you don't think Biden loves America? I, I don't think Biden loves the freedom of speech. I don't think Biden loves you having the choice to do what you want to do in every possible way. I think Biden loves Democrats. I don't think Biden loves America. This is why I asked the question from her on... Uh, who does DeSantis love more, Florida or America? That's a pointed question. Because mm -hmm. if you love America, America kind of needs a president like him where he's calm, collected, family guy, go run, do your thing, and go back to your family, spend time with your wife and kids. I think he's more his political party over America, which is left and right. I think DeSantis is more for those who believe in what America was founded on, freedom, leave me alone, a little bit of a... Uh, free enterprise, free market capitalism. I think you can make a decision for yourself where I think he thinks the government can make better decisions for you than you can make for yourself. That's what I mean, that his America is a different America than my you're America. Saying, you're saying he believes in America, but with a little bit more uh, government uh, overreach. Like like it's saying, does that, does that parent love his kids? I think he loves his kids, but his method of raising his kids is too much control. I don't believe in too much. think he's too much of a micromanager. I don't think he has any idea what's going on today. I just think he thinks he knows what's best for you over you know what's best for Christina, you. Christina, do you have yeah. strong feelings on this? Do you think I Biden mean, loves America? Do you think he's in his right mind doing the best job he can do for America? What are your thoughts? I mean, to be honest, he's been in politics for 50 years, right? I mean, so he's been in Washington, D.C., in that bubble, and it really is a bubble, you know, when you're an elected official there in Congress and the Senate and the vice president, and he's just been in this world that most Americans do not live in. It's a very different world. And I think he he believes he's doing the right things. I think he believes that he, he loves America, but he doesn't love the individual liberties aspect that our country was founded on, I don't think. I, I tend to agree that, um, that he believes big government is the solution to everything. And perhaps that's because he's been in government for his whole career. I mean, like, mm -hmm. look, when you've been in Washington, D.C., and that's been your entire life, and he hasn't owned a business, you know, like he hasn't um, dealt with the same types of things that American families deal with every day. He just has a different kind of life. Um, then that's maybe why his perspective is, is so different um, from somebody who, let's say, who was a business owner before, like Trump, or somebody who comes from a more middle class or working class background, like DeSantis, and just knows what, like, lives in a different state and knows what people in our state are dealing with. So Yeah, I don't know. why. So do you think he loves America? Uh, yeah, I do think he loves America. Do you think I, Trump loves America? I do think Trump loves America. Do you think... Uh, I, think I think... Do you think Bernie Sanders loves America? I think... Uh, I do think Bernie Sanders loves America less than those two. Uh, you think AOC loves America? <laughs> I do. I just think she's got a different interpretation. Yeah, of what so she we're saying like. the same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, so that's, that's exactly what we're saying. Yeah, though. you can so, you can love the country but have a different vision. No, no, no. Then no, no. That's not how this thing works. But you're you're systemically wanting this great country to change. You mm -hmm. systemically don't. You don't like what the foundation of what this country was like well, built on. Do you on. think FDR loved America? Do I? Because he got a lot of heat after the New Deal about Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid I, and I, big I, government, I, but, 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 and now everyone loves that. Yeah, no, no. I everybody loves what? I mean, those systems. Uh, you doubt any seniors or old people or sick people are trying to not have Social Security. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm just putting you, a different now, perspective. Now you're, out there. you're going in a completely different direction. Give the whole yeah. story in the context, yeah. because first of all, when he came out with Social Security. 
Mm-hmm. Do you know how many people used Social Security the first year when he came out with Social Security? Well, there weren't that many old people at that point. That's so, the point. Yeah. So t- it wasn't a big deal. Well, so to- I'm, there's no doubt Social Security is a mess no, right no. now. F- F- Social F- Security way, kicks in at 62 F- and people F- are living the 92. R- FDR isn't as bad as the right painting up, uh, out to be and isn't as great as the left paints him out to be. Mm-hmm. So to me, FDR, a lot of them like, oh my gosh, they say bad things about FDR. And you're looking, it's like, he raised minimum wage one time. I think Obama raised minimum wage four times. He raised it, and Obama only raised it one time. Do you know who raised minimum wage the most time? Like, he raised it to 25 cents. He just said 25 cents is what the minimum wage ought to be. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, kind of went after Ford because Ford was essentially having their average employee working 70 hours a week. I think that's also a little bit of abuse. By not choice, that's W-2, not 1099, it's not sales. But I will tell you this in regards to uh, Biden. When, when you're in a bubble for too long, I run sales organizations. You know what I do. So... I'll talk to my sales leaders, and a sales leader will ask me and say, hey, Pat, man, how do you deal with these guys that are just making 15 bucks an hour? Man, you're trying to get these guys to realize you got to work hard. You got to have your dreams become a reality, and da-da-da-da-da. Man, why do people have such bad hours? I just have a hard time talking to these people sometimes. It's a very big red flag. Very, very big red flag. Why? The moment you lose the ability to understand what you were like when you sucked at one point, you lose the vote. The, the moment you forget about the pains of what it was to be broke, you lose the vote. The moment you forget about what it is to be a small business owner, if you've never experienced it, dude, you, I understand the pain of a small business owner. I understand the pain of a kid that's coming up that wants to do something good with their lives and they got bad habits. I understand what it is to be in a bubble of nightclubs and you're stuck in it and you just can't wait to leave it because, but at the same time, you're like, dude, but I miss that nightlife. It's a bubble. We, everybody, if you get too caught up in the bubble that you're in, mm-hmm. you're blindsided by reality. We all will go through it. I just think he's in a state where he's so blindsided. I don't know how many core, to the core beliefs he has that he's presenting. I think it's a lot of me too core beliefs. I think AOC has core beliefs. I think Sanders has core beliefs. I think Trump has core beliefs. I think Obama has core beliefs. I think those guys, DeSantis core beliefs, Trump core beliefs. I I don't see a DeSantis as core beliefs. Oh, you mean Biden? I, I don't. I'm sorry. My apologies. I don't see Biden as core. She's about to jump out of her seat. No, no, no. I don't see. I don't see Biden as core beliefs. I think Understood. he's been in it for so long that he's just kind of like, yeah, uh, I'm a Democrat. We should do this. Oh, you guys are changing. Yeah, we should do. It. I think he's too much about, you know, the whole flip flopping thing. Flip-flop. No, you got to have okay. a backbone. You got to stand up, and you got to get some people to get upset about your saying. You know, hey, here's what I believe. This is what we need to do. This is what it was founded on. Hmm. So yeah, he, I think he loves a different America. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.